Hi, I'm John from Chatomize, and in this video, I will explain how we can use context to connect intents in Dialogflow. So in the last two videos, I already created a pizza bot with the intent order pizza. And with this intent, we can understand when the user wants to order a pizza. And we also use two entities. We use the system entity number. So for example, if someone says, can I have three pizzas? We can understand that they're th talking about three pizzas instead of one. And we also use the topping entity that reflects the toppings on the pizza, such as beef and bacon and cheese. And we created that ourselves. And how it basically works is that when a user says, I want a pizza with beef, then it will say, delicious, a pizza with beef. But this is just not a normal conversation. In a normal conversation, when you just order the pizza, they will ask if you want another one. So let's do that in Dialogflow. What I'm going to create in this tutorial is when someone ordered a pizza, we will ask them if they want another pizza. And if they don't want another pizza, we will ask them if they want a drink to go with their pizza. So if we scroll down, we now has as a basic response, delicious, a pizza with topping. So we will just delete that. And then I will add, sure, I will add it to your order. Do you also want another pizza? And then we can hit save. So we ask the user after they order the pizza, if they want another pizza. So then if we go back to intents, we can create a follow-up intent. So if you click on follow-up intent, it automatically shows some pre-built intents that you can use. So in this case, we want to use the yes intent. For example, if someone says, yes, I want another pizza. And what this will do is when you add a follow-up intent, if you go to the order pizza intent, it will assign an order pizza follow-up output context. And with the follow-up intent, you will get a order pizza input context. And what this does is that it handles the context in the conversation. So basically, the first intent starts a context and says to Dialogflow, we are currently in a different context. Then Dialogflow will look for intents that have that context as an input context. And when Dialogflow sees an intent with that input context, plus a specific phrase, Dialogflow will recognize this and will go further with that intent. So in this case, the order pizza intent will ask a question and set the context to order pizza follow-up. Then Dialogflow will look for intents that have the order pizza follow-up as an input context. Dialogflow sees that order pizza yes has it as an input context. And then when the user says yes, it will go with that intent. In general, if you want to connect two intents with context, you need one intent with an output context and at least one intent with the same input context. So this is called order pizza, yes, but we will change it. So we will say order.pizza.upsell pizza and then yes. And because we're using a pre-built follow-up intent, it also added pre-built training phrases such as yes and okay, I will, and why not. And then we'll set a default response with great. What toppings do you want on your pizza? And then we'll hit save. And we can do the same for the no. So if we go back to intents, then we can add another follow-up intent. So I will click on add follow-up intent and we'll add one for the no. So this is the no. And this also added to the context order pizza follow-up. So I will also change this to order pizza dot upsell pizza and then no. And again, because we used a pre-built follow-up intent, we also have the pre-built training phrases. So now instead of saying, what kind of toppings do you want? We will say, okay, do you want a drink to go with it? And we'll save it. So what we created now is when someone ordered a pizza, we will ask if they want another pizza 
And if they say yes, we will ask about the toppings that they want. And if they say no, we will ask them if they want a drink. So let's test this. I want a pizza with beef and sausage. Then we'll say sure, I will add it to your order. Do you also want another pizza? Then we'll say yes. And we'll say great, what toppings do you want on your pizza? Then you say beef and sausage. And then it says, sorry, could you say that again? And this is because we haven't trained the order pizza intent on just two toppings. So if we go to intents and go to the order pizza intent, then we can just add the training phrase beef and sausage. And then we'll automatically recognize that beef is a topping and sausage is a topping. And then we can just hit save. And if we try this again, I want a pizza with beef. Then it will say, sure, I will add it to your order. Do you also want another pizza? Yes. Then it will say, great, what toppings do you want on your pizza? They say beef and cheese. And I will say, sure, I will add it to your order. Do you also want another pizza? No. And I will say, okay, do you want a drink to go with it? So that's also another question we need to connect to another intent. So let's do this. But we're not going to do this with a follow-up intent because I want to show you that you don't necessarily need a follow-up intent to handle the context between different entities. So we can just create a new intent, which is called order pizza upsell drink, and we will say yes. So for the sake of simplicity of this tutorial, I would just only add yes to keep things simple. And we will just add a simple text response. Okay, I added a drink to your order. Then we can set as the context, as the input context, we can say upsell drink. You can just determine this yourself and you need to delete the output context. We only need the input context and Dialogflow automatically adds the output context. I don't know why, but you need to remove it. You can hit save. And then we will do the same thing for the no version. So we create a new intent. And we will just only add no. Also has the same input context. So this will be upsell drink. Remove the output context. And then we'll say, okay, no drink for you. Then the only thing we need to do left is go back to intents, go to the order pizza, upsell pizza, no, and we need to add the output context. So this will be upsell drink and save it. So now the agent will again be trained. And now if we ask, can I have a pizza? with beef and sausage then we'll say sure i will add it to your order do you also want another pizza then i will say no okay do you want the drink to go with it if you say yes then it will say okay i added the drink to your order and now we'll say i want a pizza oh what toppings do you want on your pizza beef okay i added it to your order do you also want another pizza no Okay, do you want to drink? Also, no. And then it says, okay, no drink for you. So that's how a user can order a pizza. Then you ask if they want another pizza. If they say yes, they can just fill in another pizza. If they say no, we will ask them about a drink. And that's how you connect intents in Dialogflow by using context. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.